questions? Is the weather having any effect on travel plans for getting to Athens? Uh, you know what? A little bit, but uh, the uh, plane that we're taking is supposed to be up in the air in about another 20 minutes, coming from Savannah, Georgia, to pick us up and then take us to. Uh, we're actually going into Spartanburg because uh, Athens airport's been closed the whole year. They're redoing the entire runway system there. So it's a little uh, unfortunate because it's about an hour and 15 minutes away. Uh, can you provide any timeline or any clarity on, on Nick's situation and things well, going forward, his availability? Exactly what the statement said that was released for the game. Again, questions for Coach Mary Catherine. I'll get the microphone to you. Let's get it over here to Brett. The double-digit steals in three of the last four games. Is there what? What do you attribute that to? Uh, our defense being way more help conscious and uh, really getting into gaps and helping each other. And uh, it's not from gambling and you know making uh, you know bad plays that way. You know, a lot of times you know guys can get steals. That doesn't mean you're playing good defense if you're you're not you know, doing it the right way. And we're doing it the right way in terms of uh, creating uh, with our defense. Go ahead, Logan. Having uh, coached against Coach Crane before, just can you already see kind of the stamp of his team already in on Georgia in year one? Yeah, he's getting them to play really hard. Uh, they're very competitive. Um, you know, the, this team is uh, really long. They really rebound hard. Uh, and... Um, you know, he's going to do a great job, and they already have the number one point guard recruit in the country coming in next year, a kid from Atlanta who's a one and done -er. He'll be, you know, really, you know, good for him. And the one year he'll be there, he's something else. Uh, regardless of, of Nick's situation, Tyson stepped in this past weekend, did a great job. I, I, just how much faith do you have in Tyson to – to come in, I mean, he's pretty much like a starter for you anyway. Well, he started right? a lot of games here already, as you remember, you know, both as a sophomore and as a freshman. So he's very experienced. And, you know, Tyson's probably, uh, you know, one of the best conditioned guys on our team. When you're talking about when we're doing all the running in the preseason and all that, I mean, he never gets tired. I mean, he makes everything. He's in great physical condition, so he can play a lot of minutes. What's it like preparing for a team that's on a slide like Georgia is? You know, I think they've lost 10 of their last 11 or something like that. And uh, you're you know, getting them on their home uh, floor. I'll tell you what, though. It, you're, it's a great question because our guys look at that and, you know, they're, they're kids. And, and it's like they don't get, hey, let's watch the whole LSU game from just their last game. I mean, they had LSU on the ropes with a chance to win. Who's tied for first in our league? I mean, if we don't play our very best tomorrow, if we don't come and play our very best, They'll beat us. I mean, you know, there, there's not that much that the margin of error is so small. And, uh, you know, that's something I, you know, will be hammering home here the next uh, 24 hours. Again, questions for Coach. We'll get the microphone to you if you have any more. Go ahead and get it in the back. With that margin of error being so small, you know, getting a couple wins under your belt after, you know, the stretch where it felt like a lot of one possession losses, you know, even with a team like Georgia, where what do you feel like confidence wise where you guys are at in terms of finishing ball games? Well, I think our guys are very confident. Um, you know, um, and they have been all year in terms of we've won a lot of close games too. I mean, you know, we've won a number of close games during the year. So it, it goes it goes rubs both ways for sure. Just another quick thing on Tyson real quick. I know in the past uh, you uh, among his development, you want him to drive to the basket more and things over the course of his career. Now that he's you know third year in the program, has he made those strides? Do you, do you feel like do you feel like he has yeah, now think, become I that player? He, he's I, what I'm excited about is he's doing a really good job for us defensively, as well as offensively. I think he had 18 points at Arkansas and didn't make it three, right? Wasn't he over five from yeah, three? Yeah, over five from three, coach. Over five from three, but you know scored in a lot of different ways and. Uh, you know, especially you know, he's got a really nice floater that he's able to score on into the paint. He had a couple run out dunks where they were, you know his teammates did a great job finding him. Uh, but he created a lot. Of, you know, made big free throws down the stretch when they were having to foul us. 
So he did a lot of good things at both ends of the floor. And that's the key about being a complete player. You know, everybody's trying to run him off the three-point line because they know he's such a good three-point shooter. And so you've got to be able to put the ball on the floor and, and do other things, and he definitely can. And he's now our backup point right now. So, And I he, he's been running a lot of point all year, and he's very comfortable with the ball in his hands. You could see there were times in that game where he was driving against their pressure. And, you know, he's done that in the past. I remember Stephen F. Austin, he kind of took the game over a year ago when they were really pressuring us and got to the rim, got to the rim, got to the rim. You know, he's good with the ball in his hands for sure. Anything else for Coach? We'll go to and get it to Tyler. <coughs> with Nick out, is, is the solution going to be more minutes for, for Carter and Woodard, or do you anticipate yeah, and, guys and like Holman. Keyshawn? Okay. Yeah, and Keyshawn will play. I mean, Keyshawn's, you know, our eighth guy. But he's got to be ready. I mean, we were fortunate we weren't in foul trouble up front in the last game. You know that's going to happen here, you know, down the, the end of the season here. So he's definitely going to be thrown into tough and important situations. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. We'll see you. Thank you. Thank you.